day. I want to see the Alliance map. Python received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. But that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, do not go boldly. I'll make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. See your stores. All done? Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. You are an excellent rider, Eivor. Nothing more today. I have to go. See you soon. Take care. Thank you for treating Hytham with respect and kindness, Eivor. He has found a family among your clan. He is more than welcome here, as are you.
We need an epic tale. During my 19th winter, it was a man called Kjortve the Cruel that brought me to these rain-soaked shores. You all know the name. Of that, I am certain. He and my father, Ronvald, had some disagreements. But my father was never one to bow his head and keep silent. Kjortve's men came for him when I was out hunting. I was not there to defend him. And then when my brother, Gurim, also fell, I, like a coward, fled to England. I swore that in time I would return to avenge my father's death. But I waited too long. Upon my return from Francia, I heard the news. Kjortve the Cruel is long dead, slain by the hand of Eivor. The wolf kissed me. I am glad my father's Wolf's killer Eivor. is dead. But gods, I wish I had been there to swing the axe myself. Sing us a song. Skulls got a story. Hey, you remember needed. Ingrid the chicken? The one that the wretched old hermit woman used to keep? I stole her, you know. We had a connection, that bird and I. I would come by and feed it seeds and worms I had picked up on the way to see her. But one day, she decided to hop into my arms. A sign, I thought. She had chosen me as her master. I vowed to look after her. Say My young you. heart sang. I had always wanted a pair of sorts, so I stashed her in the corner of the house when father was looking. Ingrid settled in nicely into her makeshift nest I made. When morning came, I couldn't find her. Father called me over to the table more eagerly than usual. And there she was. Poor Ingrid, boiled and butchered on a plate. Monastery Not every day there. the gods bless us with an easy meal, Father Wimbledon. But this one wandering right into the house? Now eat! I sat and ate my meal in silence. Ingrid was delicious. <laughs> Come 
Freio! Enemy forces stationed there! Let's put in here.
I need your eyes, my friend. Nice. 